do one thing, you know. Take a quiet spot somewhere at the river, sit down for a moment, quiet your thinking, just that you're there. Feel yourself in surrender. Take yourself through that process. Move into surrender, put a smile on that face. Move into surrender, feel, 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 feel. Quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet the thoughts. And then just ask. And the first impulse you get, a yes or a no, just go with it fearlessly. And it'll be the thing to do. <laughs> yes. Namaste. Namaskar. What is your name? My name is Mari Louise. Mari Louise. And yesterday I was first time in your satsang and I feel very uh, connected and um, so I came back today. And um, as I uh, followed Advaita Vedanta teachers uh, in uh, last year, so I have a question. What is this? Uh, I, I have ideas, but I would like to hear something from you. Um, this? This. So this is, firstly, at the base of it, the materiality of the system, the cells, the genes, the atoms that make up the cells, the groups of cells, the organs, all of that is this, at the base of it. Then there is the, the emotional aspect or the emotional consciousness that runs this, which is that area of the consciousness where perception of all kinds of emotions happens. Jealousy, anger, fear, all of that stuff. This is also the conceptual, which is that area of the being and the perception where actually the thoughts occur, ideas occur, concepts occur, self-reflection occurs, and so on. Which is where the Neo-Advaitin work happens mainly in the, in the detachment and the the asking of the questions, who am I, and neti neti, and so on. It happens in the conceptual. Above that, the, the creative, transformative perception, consciousness layer, from which this is able to create, is able to make associations through the creativity, poetry, music, and so on. Then, another aspect of this is the unity consciousness. Marie Louise's ability to experience oneness with everyone in this room, with everyone in the world, with the trees, with the river, with everything, just oneness. That is also this. You know what I mean? And then there's another, another aspect of thisness, and that is Marie Louise's ability to perceive the divinity within herself, which means her associations with that which is not human, which doesn't have the natural attributes of the human, and the divinity in the other, and her ability to have Trikala Drishti, the ability to perceive past, present and future in this moment, the ability to know like an X-ray vision what's going on with the other, all of that happens as the consciousness expands here and you're able to perceive from this chakra. All of this plus many other layers in between is thisness. That is what this is. So when all of this is in surrender, it means it is bending down as an instrument, not identifying with the soul, but offering itself as an instrument of the soul's action. Yes, uh, thank you. I, it's very good that I asked this question, I feel it. And I wanted to ask the, what you said, the conditioning, it's something like the mind? Uh, can I say conditioning is mind? No. Oh, okay. I don't use the word mind. Okay. 
because it's a nebulous word and spirituality is nebulous enough so I try to keep it very simple according to what the Agnya is that I receive the command conditioning is that which society imposes as ego on this system in order to engage this system in its own perpetuation in society's perpetuation in its perpetuation of its wealth and its perpetuation of everything that it wants in this world it uses the individual by creating ego so the conditioning is that which is done to you after your birth generally so can I say the conditioning is the ego or is ego more conditioning is ego ego can also be partly something inherited genetically inherited it's a prarabdha karma it's an inherited ego in that sense but in relation to what ego you you actually are slapped on with through a lifetime that which is inherited is less demanding and the more you move into surrender the more that inherited ego dissipates including for example illness so all those questions that as a neo advaitin because advaita vedanta lays a lot of emphasis also on surrender especially in the actions of the gurus in the ashrams and so on there's a lot of emphasis on that samarpan 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 which in the neo advaitin practices are left out because the the focus is a lot on identifying with the supreme self and consciously detaching which is which is a very very small actual aspect of what that posture is in order to reach self realization the surrender to the soul is what moves you to the soul self to the self to the to the experience of its presence the real experience so the non dual is not just what's in the thinking the very materiality has to be in that surrender all of this when it is in one in unison that's when it's non dual the experience can i ask one more question i think i'll have to take others and then you can put your hand up later if there is a so that everyone gets a chance who because there are some people with burning questions and then i'll call you back you just put your hand up okay. yes you yes i his hand was up. 